Hey, he's talking to a guy over in the car. I'm hoping we're not supposed to not park here or something. Do the next thing. I was talking to a very nice group of uh, police down at Patricia's. Um, I was telling checking the bikes about Patricia's uh, little shop come coffee shop come everything and they were great fun very friendly these guys don't seem to be quite so friendly oh well, uh, hopefully they're going now so I could smoke my cigarette and relax this guy here having a good shower probably homeless guy trying to keep clean at least but I don't think the salt water is very good for your skin I get doused in salt water every day but I come home and wash it off now uh, the policemen don't seem to be that keen to leave oh, here he comes Yeah, the policemen and the other police were totally friendly, took photos, they took photos of me, I took photos of them, talked about their guns and everything else. And the next thing is if they don't film us, so I'll turn the camera away. You can look at Siggy Hall, which is crowned with twelve. It looks like we're going to have a dry day today, which will be very good. Um, after last night I had luckily yesterday was also dry um, for most of the day before this storm started so I managed to do a lot of washing and get it all dry um, then I washed two towels why? because I <laughs> spilled first my omelette all over the kitchen counter omelette mix and then my coffee all over everywhere so very good at spelling things. Anyway, my shopping mission today was to buy some crockery to replace the odds and ends that Rose lent to me. Um, actually, she has an obligation to provide all this stuff. But anyway, I'm going to argue about it. I'll get it for myself. Fisherman just coming along here. Hopefully they're going to catch something. This fisherman is busy probably texting his girlfriend. The policemen, they're wearing body vests. And I said to the policeman down at the uh, Patricia's at Silliman Beach, Oh, what, what armour have you got in there? He said, Nothing. <laughs> Issued the vest, but no, no armour. He said, You look like you're armoured. I said, Yeah, I'm ar armoured back to the front. And it's Ke Kevlar. He said, what grade? I said, oh, hang on a minute. I get too technical. It's Kevlar anyway, I'm quite thick. It isn't actually, it's rubber, I think. Okay, where did it go? Fisherman with his can hand line can go ahead now. These fishermen, I think they're looking for probably been a lot of fish around close in the last few weeks. Hopefully we'll be lucky enough to see them cast their net. That's what they're going to do. I think so. I'm boiling in this my fighting suit but once you're moving it's okay but it stop like this 
and it gets hot. Not so much because of the material, because it's a Japanese motorbike jacket, and the material is vortex or something breathable, but the armour blocks all this air. What are these guys doing? I have a feeling they might be going to die. A lot of sea action around at the moment. If you like that sort of thing, I don't like them because I once stepped on one and you only do that once. And be very cautious after that. We've got clouds look to me like some evil dragon. I'll take that. Unfortunately I've only got a telephoto lens and my <coughs> camera body which is 10 years old very heavily used even argues with my new telephoto. So. My friend in uh, Canada has found me a good deal it looks like a good deal lady selling a complete um, D3200, which is an earlier model of mine, with a standard lens, which is what I need, camera bag, spare batteries, all sorts of stuff. <coughs> um, my great friend Alexandra struck a, struck a really good deal for that. I'm very happy, and I have to send back <coughs> the money when I get my pension, next pension, I was going to wait but she said, no, we can trust you for that and her husband said perhaps he's a scammer and Alexander said, well I've known this particular scammer for two years because she was involved in uh, charity for uh, the war sorry, I'm stopping, there's a little hermit there I'm going to put you back in the sea because you don't belong out here, yeah. do you? Off you go. I'm trying to take a picture but the telephoto won't do macro. So what are these guys doing? I have a feeling they're going to die. Can't see any net. They're certainly not out for a Sunday boating trip. This one haven't got time for that. It's getting something ready on the bottom of the boat and I have a feeling it'll be snorkeling slippers which means it's going after well I say sea urchin you can get conch all sorts of uh, delicacies if you like that sort of thing and sell them I rather like the shells but uh, my friend Eric the Canadian he eats the inside and then gives me the shell at. Now this guy's going to die. I think. The sailing water out of the boat at the moment. Not a good sign. I think all of these boats are leaky. It's just to what extent they leak. I'm so glad I didn't ride up towards the Bell Church and get nobbled by the police. There's no entry after here, after this point. Quite a resource this, the um, Roxas Promenade goes all the way up to Roxas Boulevard and down to opposite the Bell Church, which is separated by the river canal and we started out in the river what I love about the clouds is they change all the time <coughs> and people have often asked me why do you go down every morning to take pictures of clouds uh, the sunrise I said well one for the sunrise, which can be really dramatic colours, and the other is for the clouds. The clouds, I said, yeah, I see animals in the clouds. And they say, care in the community is very good nowadays, David. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? I 
if I'm fairly naturally this boat, uh, I say I don't think fishermen come out on Sundays just for jolly. One of them's getting ready to die, I'm sure. We'll stay with them. I know he's trying to. Oh, he's starting to move now. Coming towards you. So beautiful here, even in the rainy season. I love it. The only thing I don't like about the rainy season, as most people agree here, is the flies. They just come from everywhere, get everywhere, land on you, annoy you to death, and there's no real cure for them. Water is so clear here. Let me take a look. Now the spear fishermen don't like it this clear because they can be seen more easily. They like it a little bit murky. So I always worry when I'm swimming or snorkeling that one of these spear fishermen in the murky water <laughs> make a mistake and spear me. So I certainly wouldn't want, like one of these spears to go through. Now, turning around to this sort of landing craft ship, car ferry, truck ferry. This guy, if I put my, put you down, I'll tell you what, I, I think he's got a fish trap on this boat. Yeah. They dump these fish traps into the water and leave them anywhere from one day to a week. Uh, the fish don't die in there, they're just swimming around, but they can't get out. Ingenious old method of fishing. And sometimes they hit the jackpot and get a nice big lapu lapu or some other expensive fish which they can sell or eat as they wish. So, here I am baking for the sake of science. <laughs> 